Hey loves, Kim here and I'm back with another video. So if this is your first time on the channel, I just would like to say welcome. Hi, my name is Kim. I am a Sims 4 gamer and today I wanted to share part three of my base game only fall lookbook mini series. So if you are interested, be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to click that bell. That way you never miss an upload from me. Also, don't forget to leave a like and a lovely comment. I would love to hear from you. And of course, if you're an OG that's been here for a minute, thank you so much for coming back. Today's video is part of a base game only fall lookbook mini series. So if you haven't checked out the other parts, be sure to click the card on the screen or check out the link in the description box below. My goal for this series is to share some looks for various body types. As someone who struggles in the shopping department sometimes, I wanted to celebrate all of the different body types. In today's video, I'm going to showcase five looks for the pair body type. Put my own little spin on it and create some fall time outfits that will best complement this body type in my personal and humble opinion. I hope you guys will truly enjoy this lookbook. Just a brief background on what determines your body type. It has nothing to do with your weight, but everything to do with your bone structure. Specifically, the ratio between your bust, waist, and hip areas. For the pair body type, also known as the triangular type, the hips are the widest part of the body, with the shoulders being noticeably more narrow in comparison and the bust typically running on the smaller side. I'll be sure to provide an outline on my model just so you can get a better visual of what I'm talking about. It was quite a challenge working with base game only for all of the clothing, shoes, and accessories, but I think I came up with some pretty good looks and I hope you guys will enjoy this video and celebrate the pair body. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first look. For look number one, I decided to go with classic cool weather staples, long sleeves, jeans, and boots. Since pear shaped people are fuller on the bottom, I chose a horizontal striped shirt to help visually balance out her top half. The denim skinny jeans celebrates her curves and are fashionably appropriate for this time of year. As a pear shaped person myself, I find that big hair helps to balance out my wider hips. For accessories, I decided to keep it super simple with silver studs and a pendant necklace so not to compete with the busier top. The crew neck line of the shirt highlights and elongates her neck which helps to draw the eye upward. For the shoes, I decided on some simple mountain boots for function and comfort during everyday fall activities. For look number two, I wanted an outfit that was sophisticated but still very wearable. This full body piece perfectly accentuates this model's frame by playing up her naturally curvy shape and catering to areas that are opposite proportions. The belted waist cinches in her midsection and the wide leg pants shift the focus from her hips and direct the eye down towards her shoes. For accessories, I went with glasses that were straight on the top and angled along the bottom to mimic her off the shoulder top. I chose pearl and golden jewelry because they are elegant but also complement both the warm and neutral tones in this look. Pleated material tends to add volume to the body but since the pants are belted it adds movement to her instead. For the shoes I chose a peep toe strappy heel just to add a cute and flirty vibe to this look. For look number three, I wanted to go with an athleisure vibe that could transition seamlessly between running errands, working out, and lounging around the house. Good leggings are a go-to for people with thicker thighs because they are comfortable and easy to pair tops with. Because these leggings are black, they visually slim down her legs and the vibrant colored jacket strongly contrasts with the darker tones which helps to create balance with her wider hips. For the accessories, I went with silver hoops and a simple silver necklace to match the hardware on her jacket. The jacket itself is simple, but the detailing on the collar brings attention to the face. Pear-shaped bodies can easily rock a scoop neck top because it opens up the chest area making it appear fuller than what it actually is. 
For the shoes, I went with plain laced up boots because they are sleek and streamlined just like the rest of this look. For look number four, I wanted to go with something dressy without going over the top. I chose a sleeveless sheath dress because the silhouette is clean and shows off her arms. The belted detail defines the waistline while making this piece look super polished. Another win with this dress is that it works perfectly in both professional and formal settings. The color blocking is not only fashionable, but it moves the eye vertically, helping her to appear longer and leaner. For the accessories, I chose these full rimmed glasses to highlight her eyes and the dangling earrings to draw attention to her cheek and jaw bones. All of the jewelry is silver to match the buckle of her belt. The color blocking is done in a way that highlights her curves, making this simple silhouette a lot more interesting. For the shoes, I went with the same peep toe heel in black because it's cute for work or a night out on the town. Last but not least is look number 5. I decided to go with a sweater dress because it's super cute, really cozy, and conveniently made to be a full outfit. The scoop neckline draws the eye upward, bringing attention to the model's face and neck, while also making the bust appear more full to balance out her wider hips. Because fall months are cooler, I decided to pair this piece with some dark brown tights to add a little bit of function to this fashionable choice. Because this is a more casual look, I decided to keep the accessory simple, allowing the focus to be on the garment and the model's natural beauty. The cable knit detailing on the sweater dress is really intricate, which makes this single colored dress go from basic to interesting. Because it's done in a vertical column, your eyes are drawn lengthwise, causing the body to appear longer and leaner. For the shoes, I decided on a mid-calf boot. This height will balance out her legs and are a go-to staple for the fall time. And there you have it, five base game only fall time looks that I best believe complement the pair body type. I truly hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. It helps me and the channel out more than you know. Also, if you made it this far, feel free to subscribe and be sure to click that bell that way you never miss an upload from me. Thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.